Hi everyone. Yesterday we researched an animal and we filled out this organizer. So remember, I picked the snow leopard. And here are all my notes about all of the facts that I learned about what my animal eats, where it lives, what it looks like, and some fun facts at the end. So today we're going to turn this into the beginning of our writing. So the first page we have is appearance. If you don't have a printer, you can make your own page that says appearance, like I did here. Take any piece of plain paper or notebook paper, write appearance at the top, draw a box for your picture, and you're ready to go. So since I have my notes already about what my animal looks like, I can start to write about the appearance. The first thing I want to do is write that it's a mammal, but I can't just write mammal. I need to write in full sentences. So what's my animal? My animal is a snow leopard. So I can say the snow leopard is a mammal. Whoops. Period. Now since I did this part, I can check it off. So I know I'm done with that part of my notes. The next thing said it was 39 to 51 inches long. So I found that in the on the website. So I can write about how long it is. So the snow leopard is a mammal. Oh, I can also add that it's a big cat. I know that from the pictures and from what I saw on the website. So it is a big cat. Now before I do this, this reminds me, there's lots of things that I can write about just from the pictures that I noticed. So it's a big cat. Cats have four legs, right? Two eyes, two ears, big paws. So it is a big cat. It has four legs, a big tail, two ears, two eyes, a nose, and a mouth. These are all things that I found out just by looking at pictures of my snow leopard, right? All right, now I can talk about how long it is. So, snow leopards are 39 to 51 inches long. All right, all done with that part. Now here's some descriptive words that I found on the website. It has smoky gray fur with black markings. And it has this kind of fur to blend in with its mountain habitat. So now I can write about that. It has smoky gray fur with black markings. I can say it's fur helps it to blend in with its habitat. All right, I did that and that. And then my last thing says it has a long thick tail that's almost as long as its body. So I'll write snow leopards have long thick tails that 
that are almost as long as their bodies. I'll put an exclamation point at the end of that sentence because that's something that's exciting and it's kind of a fun fact. All right, I have a few sentences here. When I look back, I'm checking. I have uppercase letters to start, punctuation to end, nice neat finger spaces. If you're writing on notebook paper, you can use two lines to write each line, or you could do what I did and just write it write smaller in one line, whatever works best for you. My last step on this page, of course, is to draw a picture. So that's my next step. After I draw the picture, I'm ready to move on to the next page. So I already made all of my pages. The next one we're doing today is habitat. Habitat is where your animal lives. So I already have these notes and now I'm going to write down all about where my animal lives. From the map I found out that the snow leopard lives in Asia. The snow leopard lives in Asia. Some of you might have animals that live all over the world, so you can write that. Or maybe they live on two different continents. Write whatever you find out on your planning page from your research. It lives high up in the mountains. So Asia, mountains, I can say at high elevations or with steep rocky slopes and cliffs or in the snow. So it lives high up in the mountains at high elevations. Snow leopards live on steep, rocky slopes and cliffs. Like their name hints at snow leopards live in the snow. And I found out that they also live mostly alone. They mostly live all alone. So I finished writing about all of my notes here. And my next step, once again, is to draw a picture. So for this picture, let me think about what I wrote. And the main idea is that snow leopards live high up in the mountains where it's snowy. So maybe for habitat, I would draw mountains and the snowy peaks. I could label it snow. I could draw cliffs and rocks. And I could add some color to show what a snow leopard's habitat looks like. Then, once I've done the first page about appearance and this page about habitat, I'm ready to take a break for today. And then tomorrow, we'll write about diet and our fun facts.